Hey guys, Tom here, the Iron Beast. Welcome back to another video. Today we are getting into Loki Episode 2. Looking forward to seeing a little bit more about uh, where they're going to take the Loki storyline. Uh, interested to see if we're going to get a glimpse of the uh, bad Loki, now that we know there is a bad Loki. And I know that there were the Mephisto references on the stained glass window in the church building in the first episode, but I'm not sure. I have read a few articles in the past week that said that you know it's not Mephisto it's just a reference to something else so I'm not too sure how that's all going to unfold um, I did enjoy watching Loki's emotional side a little bit more you know and just sort of seeing him settle into a character and see that character develop a little bit more than just a support sort of comic relief character all the time so I'm looking forward to seeing you know how does he um, go about everything as the person of Loki you know not just the god of mischief but you know more as his actual personality how does he tackle tasks challenges um how long before he actually forms a proper alliance and you know helps the tva get on with their mission to track down bad loki you know another thing is what about the infinity stones you know how come they had no power in the tva is that the tva itself or is that because the infinity stones regulate the flow of time along a given timeline and so were those infinity stones from timelines that had been um, deleted or repaired or pruned as they say in the TVA and that's why they have no power anymore because their relative timeline no longer exists so a lot of different questions and you know I'm not an exact huge uh, authority on this kind of stuff so I'm looking forward to seeing a bit more about it I never followed any of this kind of Loki and Thor and all that kind of stuff in the comics so apart from the MCU I knew nothing about it so it's quite interesting to watch it all unfold so let's get into this episode and see what it's all about Oh yeah. I wonder if we're going to get a glimpse of the timekeepers. So yeah, that's the other thing. Looking forward to seeing how Loki tries to avert or atone for the death that he saw at the hands of Thanos and how that all plays out. There's so many different things happening in this a series you know so many different sort of themes to play out and develop and, and see how it sort of comes to an end Oshkosh Wisconsin just ancient time the 80s okay so it definitely didn't look like this in the 80s so must be like a reenactment event or something like that she looks pretty indifferent serious <laughs> <laughs> so it is a it is a reenactment. Some of us need this, you know. <laughs> Breakout from everyday life. Smells like a trap. Wow, that's nicely done, wasn't it? Some kind of mind control. Oh yeah, enchantment like what he did with um Hawkeye. Oh, is that bad Loki? That's got to be bad Loki. Oh, she did? Oh. Okay, so that's bad Loki, but... That was a quick start. There's one thing I don't understand is that like they're gods and they're back in different timelines on earth so that means you know even though Thor's a stronger physical stronger god they're all gods so Loki should be able to drag that person around like nobody's business okay y'all let's review what we've learned okay y'all when a nexus event branches past red line come on Loki what is it that's cause like an AI no longer reset the nexus holographic AI and that would lead to the destruction of the timeline and the collapse of reality as we know it. Are you recording or are you alive? <laughs> Watch your man. <laughs> that is not nice. I love the whole office worker vibe thing. Oh, yeah. jet ski magazine, put it down. Come on, gear up. There's been an attack. Let's go. Oh, you're up just like that. He's on the job. This is all moving along quite fast, isn't it? Smart. See 
2020 and her team went dark shortly after they jumped into the 1985 ranch. Is our Loki there? But which kind of Loki? No, the lesser kind, to be clear. <laughs> Let me see the back of that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> He's macked. Well done. You don't want anybody out there to forget what you are. Oh, you only hope of capturing a murderer. We're looking for a Loki, a variation of this guy. TVA has pruned a lot of these guys, almost more than any other variant. <laughs> no Sucker player. Like differences in appearances or not so Whoa, what is that? It's huge. Include shape shifting, illusion projection, illusion projection. No, they're two completely different powers, actually. Illusion projection involves depicting a detailed image from outside oneself, which is duplication casting, and tells recreating an exact facsimile of one's own body in its present circumstance. You already knew that. <laughs> We haven't been able to find them. Let's bring in an expert. Only a Loki can catch a Loki. I'll have my magic back. You're not concerned about that. And how's betraying us going to get you any closer to the timekeepers? An audience with the timekeepers is on the table. <laughs> oh, what a sucker. <laughs> Only way to travel. Why don't we just travel back to before the attack? Nexus events destabilize the time flow. So you got to show up in real time. Hmm. It's a neat explanation. So he's taking hostages now? A Loki couldn't have gotten the jump on T20. Uh, I think you underestimate that. Three units until red line. Three units to red line. Wait, if you leave this tent, you'll end up like them. I see a scheme. And in that scheme, I see myself. We need to look for C20. But that's exactly what the variant wants you to do. It's a trap, but I need assurances. Assurances that I won't be completely disintegrated the moment the job has been done. Now that sounds fair, though. I want you to speak to the timekeepers at once. They're in graver danger than they realize. Right, that sounds like BS. He's lying. Just playing games. <laughs> There's no one out there. Uh, it's quite cool to see Owen Wilson in this sort of um, buddy cop kind of a setup with Loki. What does it actually look like when it's. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Wow, that's some serious power. And to see 20 missing in action, huh? Is it just me or does this office keep getting better and better? <laughs> Where'd you get that one, the snow globe? Mobius. Those rings are already there. And they're all from you. This is kind of nice to see a slightly different boss work relationship. So their relationship's almost like they came up through an academy sort of thing together and you know she got the authoritative role and he stayed in the field kind of thing. It's kind of nice to see that. Stay focused. Do you really believe in this variant? You're probably wondering what happened out on the mission. See, half the fun of being a trickster is knowing I love it. I don't care what makes you tick. That insecure need for validation would motivate you to find the killer. This variant is better than you. Maybe you can't take it. <laughs> I love that he's an arrogant god, but in the TVA, he sort of his arrogance is curbed a little bit because he knows he's like can get deleted or reset or whatever. Charm your way in front of the timekeepers, hustle them, and seize control of the TVA. Okay, so obviously that's not going to happen because they've just revealed that whole plan, which we would have assumed was going to happen. And he's getting wrecked. I love it. Whoa, it's huge. Hope we get to see the timekeepers or at least some form of them. Give me your unique Loki perspective. Don't be afraid to really lean into this work. <laughs> Pretend your life depends on it. I'm gonna get a snap. <laughs> Don't tell me the variant ambushed and killed another team of men. And stole their reset time as well. <laughs> like a library. <laughs> Decrepit bell. Doesn't work. Yes, I'm on some important TVA business. Look, um, I'd like all files pertaining to the creation of the TVA. Right, because that's going to happen. Those are classified. Okay, I'd like all files pertaining to the beginning of time. Those are classified. Okay, the end of <laughs> okay what files can I have? None. Case files only. Happy reading. It's 
kind of need to see the TVA back in this whole sort of office vibe. Oh yeah, destruction of Asgard. He's going to see things he didn't know about, obviously. Nine thousand casualties. Now this is amazing to see Tom Hiddleston actually act properly and you know develop this character. Oh, he's seen something. What is it? He's hiding in apocalypses. Which apocalypse? In How does he know that? There's like a million of them. Ragnarok. Are you familiar? Yes. The destruction of Asgard and most of its people. Sorry. Yes. Very sad. Anyway, <laughs> he's back to Mr. Floki. If everything and everyone around you is destined for imminent destruction, then nothing that I say or do will matter because it gets destroyed. The variant could be hiding in the apocalypse and do whatever he wants, and we wouldn't know. Oh, that's smart. Well, gonna, I'm not taking you for a stroll along the promenade. Much less an apocalypse. <laughs> Come on, what could possibly go wrong? Well, here's a fun theory. You lure me out into the field and then you stab me in the back. That's such a boring form of betrayal. Look, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. <laughs> I'd never do it again, because it got old. <laughs> okay. They've definitely got the whole buddy cop chemistry going on. Oh yeah, Pompeii, right. So this is the volcano, the eruption, right? Reminds me of the fires of Pompeii and Doctor Who. Any minute now, until this entire town is wiped off the face of its planet. Imagine. Oh come on, it's cool. No, it is cool, but it's just, it's just not good. I'm gonna want to dim back for any variance energy. Okay. Oh, Mobius, you make even the end of the world sound boring. Okay, so we're gonna start very small disturbances. Very small. Can you make? Bird noises. Hey, Bird noises. 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 Bird Obviously they knew what volcanoes were, but they didn't have a name for it, I don't think, back then. Nothing matters! Zero variance energy, no branching in the timeline. The TVA would never even know we were here. I love the really waiting till the last moment to get out of there. So that's cool that the theory worked. Some things, actually, most things in history are kind of dumb. And in the early 1990s, for a brief, shining moment, there was a beautiful union of form and function, which we call the jet ski. <laughs> cannot differ. So, why read about them? It helps remind me of what we're fighting for. Three magic lizards, timekeepers, created <laughs> And everyone in it, right? including you. Okay, who created <laughs> A frost giant of Jotunheim. And who raised you? Odin of Asgard. Odin, god of the heavens. Just think it's to yourself. The same. It's completely no, 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 different. No, no, no. It's not. <laughs> that means from. How does it all end? That's a work in progress. No, because while we protect what came before, they're untangling the epilogue. Be very interesting to see where they are and what it looks like what that world looks like and we meet in peace at the end of time oh yeah that's kind of cool so it's kind of like heaven the idea of heaven but no one bad is ever truly bad and no one good is ever truly good scared little boy what's he thinking cathedral candy box oh yeah the blue gum why does that matter because now we have two variables apocalyptic natural disasters and Kabooey. Kabooey was only sold regionally on Earth from 2047 to 2051. Let's make it a competition. See who finds it. Sure. Okay. What, you want to bet something? Yeah, let's play for pride. Okay, make the best play. <laughs> yeah. so dry. Let's okay. play for pride. Uh, and Krakatoa erupted in 2049 as well. No Kabooey. God, it's just one damn thing after another, isn't it? Got it. That's where he is. 
Alabama 2050. You want me to approve deployment of a fully armed task force yeah. with a variant's potential hiding spot? This is all based on a theory. I have to tell you that trusting this man is not a good idea. Come on, you don't see me usually this worked up, right? Okay, there's not much I can do if it doesn't work out. Such a cool working relationship between these two. It's awesome to see that. They're almost like a team. Gather round for a briefing. This warehouse is being used by civilians as a shelter trying to ride out the storm. While the variant should know we're coming, he could be hiding anywhere and should be considered hostile. So yeah, because he can shapeshift. And if you see a Loki, prune it. The bad man, preferably. Oh. Well, it's definitely apocalyptic, isn't it? Instant try. So I don't announce myself with every squeaky footstep like the rest of you. Yep, they're on candid camera. Bomb of some kind. It's interesting the way they give the bad Loki a different sort of posture. Yes, yeah, hun hunched over a lot more than this Loki. He always stands proud. Oh, snap, you're done. Do they die? Are they getting killed off once that transference happens? Is he dead? They usually survive. Answered. They usually survive. Okay. Me, I presume. You're me. Oh, this is awesome. Loki to Loki. What is it? Oh, it's C20. She's been brainwashed or something? as cowardly as working for the TVA. Are you going to call your little friends for help? It's kind of a more powerful enchantment than before, isn't it? Because instead of just controlling them, the Loki's actually shifting into their whole uh, consciousness kind of thing. I'm going to overthrow the timekeepers. I could use a qualified lieutenant. After eight to ten seconds of consideration, the answer is no. I'm not interested in ruling the Time Variance Authority. Wow, okay. A lot of plot reveals kind of happening, so... I gave it away. What did you give away? The Timekeepers, where they are. Oh. How to find them. So they, they do know where the Timekeepers are, that's interesting. So bad Loki's planning to take down the TVA and the Timekeepers, but then what happens to reality? If you don't want to rule the TVA, then what do you want? Good question. That's your plan. Lure us all here so you can blow the place up. Go on, finished. True Loki style. Whoa. <laughs> wow. You really do love to hear yourself talk. I would never treat me like this. <laughs> exactly. Oh, nice. Boom. Loki's getting wrecked everywhere by everyone <laughs> so far. Oh, Loki's getting angry. This will be good. Brace yourself, Loki. Oh, of course, it's Loki going around. Bad Loki going around wiring the bombs up. That's a small Loki. Look at the shoulders. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. This isn't about you. Wow, Lady Loki. That's interesting. Those are all the reset charges? But they're all in the same place. So they can only reset. Oh! Oh, they've been sent everywhere, right. Where have they been sent? Oh, shit. They've been sent throughout all of the timeline. Oh, this is the multiverse. This is making the multiverse of madness, right? Yeah, okay. So those are all branches of new timelines. Well, she looks pretty serious. She's off to work. I wonder if she's got like some kind of ultra skill. Oh, that's a cool twist, isn't it? Lady Loki. I guess they had to make it interesting instead of just having another variation of him. I actually like her style. She's got that kind of devious look about her without really doing anything. Oh no, he's 
going to be gutted. So you put all his faith in him. I guess Loki taking off through the portal is going to be the least of their worries right now, knowing that the sacred timeline is being bombed. And so that's obviously going to spin off into the multiverse of madness, which I guess is the MCU's way of being able to tie in like the X-Men and all of the other different types of characters that weren't directly in the universe as such. And it looks like that would also like spin off and set up to like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness as well. But um, kind of different to see the TV show sort of pointing and leading out to a movie. I'm, I'm used to seeing movies leading, branching off into TV shows and not TV shows branching back out to the larger sort of uh, cinematic movie. But um, going to be interesting to see what happens. It was quite cool to see the Lady Loki. I mean, I know, uh, I think I have heard of a Lady Loki but I don't know a whole lot about it. I haven't watched um, or read a lot of the comics and, and know about that kind of stuff. So that's going to be interesting. And I like the way that she was just the bit of screen time they gave her then. You could definitely see that sort of um, expression and, and that sort of devious look about it, which was really cool without really having to do much. I mean, she only said a few words and did a few things and, and the end here. And, you know, you can already get that feel that she's very devious kind of a Loki. And it's almost like, is the female version of the Loki going to be a better devious Loki? Like, uh, God of Mischief compared to Loki himself and obviously he is steps behind but you know it's early days for him I mean he's come from one timeline into the TVA and suddenly thrown out on this mission so you know you could expect that it'll take him a little bit to come up to speed obviously he's taken off but he hasn't taken off to escape he's taken off because he's probably got another another agenda I mean I'd say it's curiosity more than everything he wants to see what's going on how's it going to play out so the question is going to be does Loki try to get on side with uh, Lady Loki, Bad Loki, and try and make a plan together so that he can then undo it or take control of it to his own benefit. So yeah, definitely. Anyway, it's an awesome uh, series so far. And in these first two episodes, a lot's happened. And it's, you can see a lot of setups happening. And the way that they gave two of the plot sort of themes away, you know, the fact that um, in the beginning, obviously, the TVA knows Loki's overall plan would probably be to try and take over the TVA and the timekeepers so that they've taken that off the table by exposing that straight away to us in this episode and then the other one that's of course um uh, bad loki doesn't actually want to um overthrow the tva and all that kind of things got a whole different plan of her own so how that plan would actually work kind of you know that puzzles me i'm not really sure how that's all going to work but i guess with infinite branches of timelines now you know um it would be very hard to track her down anywhere now because there's not just a timeline to go hunting around for different variations of. You know, there are so many branches now that have gone off into this multiverse event that, you know, it would be impossible to track her down. So that's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Really looking forward to next week's episode. Anyway, thanks for tuning in with me, guys. If you liked it, please hit that um, thumbs up and notification bell as well so you can see more of these as they come out. I'm going to be doing a lot of different types of uh, content, not just the... The normal stuff everyone reacts to you know especially with my combat background there's going to be some other combat type um, reaction videos coming out soon as well so stay tuned guys and until next time take it easy